Why do I have a shadow? Why do I have a shadow? Because there's light, and light creates shadows. We have a shadow to follow us around. Everybody needs to be following around. Otherwise, you do anything you want to do. <laughs> to make people scared. I have a shadow um, to keep me company. Because I get really lonely, so I need to talk to someone. Someone's always got your back. That's or it's sewn to your feet like in Peter Pan. Oh, that's true, yeah. chill. You want to know why you have a shadow? Well, Cluck and I would love to demonstrate. Wouldn't we cluck? Light particles travel in a straight line. So when something solid, like a crazy chicken or a hand, blocks those particles, the path is interrupted. This lack of light on the opposite side of the object creates a shadow. Shadow. <laughs> sometimes your shadow follows you, and sometimes it's in front of you. Sometimes it's taller than you, and sometimes it's teeny tiny. That's because the location of the light source determines the direction and size of your shadow. When you're outside on a sunny day, if the sun is in front of you, your shadow will be behind you because of the light source hitting you in front of your body. If the sun is behind you, your shadow will be in front of you. Hey Cluck, what happens to your shadow when the sun gets directly above you? <laughs> oh, it's okay guys, I speak fluent chicken. Hmm. Cluck says, your shadow becomes shorter and shorter the more the sun moves directly over you. When the sun is completely on top of you, you have no shadow. Yeah. So that's why I have a shadow! Pretty cool, huh? So, now on to our next question. Which came first, you or the egg? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. kid have a question that has you stumped? Leave a comment and let us know what it is. Maybe we'll tackle it on a future episode. Etc. Etc. On the next episode of Your Kid Asks What? So, you want to know how big a T-Rex was? <laughs>